How many potassium ions are present in a 350 milliliter solution, which has a concentration of 0.15 moles per liter? So this question is about a number of the ions. So what we need to do is we need to write down the dissociation equation for potassium phosphate in order to be able to calculate the number of the ions. So let's put the formula here and think about the ions. We have potassium ion and the phosphate ion which means that on the right side, what you want to do is you want to put K plus, plus the formula of the phosphate ion. So on this point, we don't worry about the numbers that are here. We just put the correct formula for each ion. And then once we have that, we can balance the chemical equation. So I'm going to put three. Now this was the first step. And so what we want to do now is we want to find the number of the moles of potassium phosphate. So number of the moles for potassium phosphate is equal to the concentration of potassium phosphate multiplied by the volume of the solution. This we get from the formula, we know that the molarity is equal moles over volume. So from here, if I want to find the moles, I need to multiply the concentration and the volume. From this formula, I have that this is equal to 0.35 liters multiplied by 0.50 moles per liter. So I can cancel the liters and this will give me 0 0.0525 moles of potassium phosphate. Where did I get this number? I just converted the milliliters to liters. So if I were to convert the 350 milliliters, so let's say that the volume in liters is equal to 350 ml multiplied by this um, conversion factor, so one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So here, this is equal to 0.35 liters. Now, so we have the moles of the potassium phosphate and we can use this number here. So let's put 0 0.0525 moles. And based on this, now we can find how many moles of potassium and phosphate ions we have. The mole ratio is one to three. Every one mole of potassium phosphate produces three moles of potassium ions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two numbers. So if I multiply three times this number, I'll have 0 0.1575 moles. And in order to find to how many ions these correspond, I'm going to write down the number of the ions, number of the K plus ions is equal to first starting from the moles 0.1575 moles and I'm going to multiply by the Avogadro's number because we know that every one mole of these ions or anything else contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd ions of K in this case. So we're going to cancel the moles and it's going to be 9.4815 times 10 to the 22nd this time ions and finally we're going to cancel we're going to go based on the significant figures because we had initially three significant figures from number of the moles we're going to keep three here so i'm just going to keep these three numbers so this is going to be equal to 9.48 times 10 to the 22nd ions of k plus